Grove, welcome to Horsehead Bookends for another gaming day. It's Tuesday, um, not Friday. My schedule's all thrown off. Trying to get these videos done and posted the best I can, but everything's been crazy. Everybody's home, work is nuts. So I apologize for not being able to get videos up on a consistent basis. But I have a lot planned, so I should be getting some more up very soon. Hopefully there'll be maybe more than one this week. But the first thing I want to talk about is another game that is a lot of fun uh, playing with other people, and it's a great solo game, and that is uh, Tiny Epic Galaxies by Gamelin Games. Now this is part of the entire Tiny Epic series. There is uh, Tiny Epic Mechs, Tiny Epic Quest, Tiny Epic Kingdoms, Tiny Epic Defenders, there's, I think that's it, Western, Tiny Epic Western, there's a zombie one, I think a uh, dinosaur one that's coming out, and I think they just announced Tiny Epic Pirates, um, but this is probably one of my favorite, it is a one to five player dice rolling exploration type game where you roll your, these custom dice, and depending on what is shown on the dice, you, that, those are the actions you get to take. And as you build up your, um, your own galaxy, you get more victory points and more dice to roll. Uh, you play until the first player hits 21 points, and then the final round begins, and whoever has the most points wins. So let's go over to the table and check it out. Okay, so here we have a Tiny Epic Galaxy set up for a one-player game. It's pretty easy to set up. You do have these five player boards, um, and on the back side are all the solo boards, and they each have a little bit different of the colony actions as you play. But the game is pretty simple. It tells you how many dice you get per turn. You roll the dice, get this handy little dice track, and depending on what you get, you place them in this activation bay and it tells you exactly what you can do. Move a ship, advance a colony, uh, advance diplomacy, I'm sorry, advance economy, advance diplomacy, acquire culture, acquire energy, and utilize your colony. And what happens is, as you send your ships to these different planets, you can actually, once you fully colonize it, you get the card with the points and you can actually use the special ability on the cards. Uh, the only difference with the solo player, they start with all four ships, they start with no power and no culture, where you start with two power and one uh, culture. And you need that to basically upgrade your empire, whereas with the, um, with the solo player, uh, once you get all the way up to five um, energy, you can upgrade the, the solo player does upgrade when it hits the skull and crossbones, the game is over, or when either player gets 21 points, uh, then the game is over. So it's, it's pretty easy. Um, it's not too bad. We're going to play a few rounds real fast. Okay, now for the solo player's turn, instead of rolling all the dice at once, you only roll one at a time and do that action. If they can't do that action, you re-roll it one more time. If they still can't do the action, then the dice just gets discarded and they have no turn for that die that you roll. So as you can see, the game rounds go extremely fast. Um, you can probably play this game in about an hour, uh, and you just keep rolling the dice and just doing the actions. Uh, when the first player hits 21 points, or if your uh, AI opponent hits the Skull and Crossbones, the game is over, and the one with the most points wins. Let's go back to the office and talk about it. Okay, so that was just a few quick rounds of Tiny Epic Galaxy. Um, I didn't show you exactly how to play because there are a ton of videos online that can do a better job teaching you than what I can, but the game is extremely easy to play. Roll your dice, take your actions, try to get to 21 points. Now, the one thing I really like about Tiny Epic Galaxies is that First of all, it's super small. It it's, doesn't take up a lot of room. The box itself is, is super tiny. Uh, 
nice little dice tray to roll in there and uh, it, it's fast it's easy to learn it's easy to teach and uh, you have it's not a game that's very light or I don't feel it to be a throwaway style game it really gives you a sense of enjoyment when you play it for a, uh, a little quick and fun game so they there's a ton of games in this series tiny epic galaxies is my absolute favorite I also like tiny epic mechs too which is more of a programming style game and they have a bunch of other ones too I will post the link uh, down below to uh, for Gameland games, so you can check them out and pick up the one that you think you would enjoy the uh, the the best. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You'll get notified every time I upload a video. Any questions or comments, please post them below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, talk to you later.